Seafaring is a tough and demanding profession, and keeping fit and healthy is essential for the safe and efficient running of a ship. In this 10-part series and accompanying workbook, we look at the many aspects of ensuring healthy living at sea. In this first programme of the series and accompanying workbook, we look at the importance of personal hygiene and its role in combating infections and the measures everyone can take. From controlling the spread of infection through coughs and sneezes, to hand washing, cabin and food hygiene, and precautions to be taken where exposure to blood is likely. At some time or other, many ships will be calling at ports where there is a significant risk of contracting infectious disease. Infection is always looking for a way in, and in this programme and accompanying workbook, we highlight the principal infectious diseases that seafarers may come into contact with, and the protective measures to be taken. Heart disease and diabetes are major problems today, and much blame for this can be directed at a poor diet, both at home and at work. This programme and accompanying workbook looks at the meaning of a balanced diet, both on board and on leave. What is healthy and unhealthy food? And how the diet is managed over a working day? In the benefits of exercise, we explain why taking regular exercise is so important for the seafarer, not only for the general health benefits to be gained, but also in avoiding obesity, a common cause of high blood pressure, heart disease, stroke and diabetes. Running a ship is often a 24-hour operation, and as crew, you need rest and sleep. In this programme and accompanying workbook, we look at the importance of good, undisturbed rest. We then look at fatigue, the causes of stress, and the possibility of mental distress, before finally looking at practical ways to create a relaxed and healthy environment on board. Seafarers employed on long-range voyages may be tempted to have casual sex, even in areas where HIV infection is high. In this program and accompanying workbook, we look at the sensitive but vitally important subject of sexual health. We begin by outlining why a culture of safe sex is so important, why sexually transmitted infections are so serious, the most common types, including HIV AIDS, their treatment where possible, and what protective measures are available. As we've seen in this series, Healthy living is a personal choice that contributes to a safe and productive life. But this will mean nothing if you have a dependence on tobacco, drugs and alcohol. In this program and accompanying workbook, we look at the risks and dangers of alcohol and tobacco consumption, drug and substance abuse, and the effects these can have on health, well-being and career prospects. As seafarers, you need to be fit to carry out your duties. In this programme and accompanying workbook, we look at the importance of the statutory medical certificate and the responsibility of everyone to provide honest and accurate information when taking the medical. You also have a responsibility to provide any prescribed medication for yourself and to ensure that they don't run out. Disease spreads fast, and recently we've seen the threat of new emerging epidemics. So what do you do when a new strain of disease emerges in your next port of call? In this programme and accompanying workbook, we take a look at some serious epidemics that could be present in port cities that you visit. Before looking at the risk of new emerging epidemics, such as Ebola and Zika viruses, the practical measures you can take to protect against all disease and how you can safeguard your ship from the risk of infection. In this last programme of the series and accompanying workbook, we highlight the need to remember your safety training and always follow safe working practice. We look at the issue of extreme temperature, both below and above deck, the effects of vibration when using hand tools, noise, 
and the correct method of manual handling to avoid back and muscle injury. Healthy living at sea is a lifestyle choice that everyone must follow. Watch this series, study the accompanying workbook and enjoy a long, happy and productive life both at sea and at home.